Hello, and in this video, we're going to be adding uh, sliders and uh, uh, arm to our uh, tramway tool and getting it to rotate and motion and function as it should. Uh, so we'll start by just inserting our slider pieces first. So we'll go to up to insert, uh, other documents, and then I'm going to go to my trammel folder where I have all my trammel parts. Uh, then we want to find our slides. Uh, so I have a pin slider block, and I want to update it so it's got the correct name. Uh, so I'm going to update it, and I'll be able to insert that pin slider. So I'll click on that and be able to insert it, and I'll just put it to the side, and we can match up where it goes here in a second. Then I'll go back, and I want my uh, pin slider, or my screw slider. I did my pin slider already. Again, I'm going to update it, get the correct version, and get that on my uh, studio. So then once I got it, I click on it. I'll just place that out there as well. Uh, for the screw slider, obviously I'm going to need a screw. So I'm going to put another screw on. I'm going to put this one inch screw in. I need a nut to go along with it. So I'll put the nut out here as well. And then for the pin block, we need a pin. So I'm going to get the pin that's going to go into that block. So I, I'll update it so it's got the correct name again. Uh, and then I'll put my pin connected out there. And I'll just put that next to it. Uh, so now I have the pieces I need for those. Uh, I'm gonna X. I'm gonna hit the green check to accept, uh, and then I'm gonna start putting these pieces together. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the pin because that's gonna be a pretty simple one for us to do. Uh, that's just gonna be a fastened mate, and I'm gonna turn to the other side so we can see what's going on. And from there, we'll zoom in so we can see and make sure we click in the right spot. So I want the longer end to go inside. So I'm going to go on the bottom of this base, uh, and I want it facing downward. So right now you can see it's facing outward. Uh, I want that to face downward. So I get that bottom of that base of the connector, and I click on that. And where should that piece go to? It's going to go to the top of the hole. So I want to click right there on the center of the top of the hole, and that places my pin in there. Uh, you can see it went in upside down, so I want to flip my primary axis, and now it's in the correct way. So I'll set, select the green check to accept. Uh, next, we'll do our screws. So I need the nut on the bottom first is what I'll do to locate. Uh, so again, it's just a fasten. So I'm going to get a, the center of the screw. So like before, I want to get that center when it's facing upward. So I'm going to get the outer edge and then move to the center. So I get my outer edge, I move to the center. Uh, then I want to locate that on the bottom so I'm going to come underneath and then I need the screw. I'm going to hold my mouse so I can rotate it and get in the center of that hole uh, right at the base. So I want the base there. Uh, you can see it's in upside down it's in through the blue so I need to flip it and get it where we need it located. Or well, it wasn't in it just looked like it was in upside down to begin with. Uh, so now it's located in the correct spot. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I can't see it right now so I'm going to go up and move it to the side so I can see a little bit better. So I'm going to move it to the side. Uh, now I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and hopefully be able to see. Uh, my screw is lined up and it appears uh, to be lined up correctly in this case. So I don't have to spin it 30 degrees like we did on some of the previous ones. So now what we're going to do is uh, take these slider pins and put them in the correct location so they can slide along uh, either up and down or left and right. Uh, so first we have to find out which one goes where. So we can see this end on the front side, it's got the rounded edge, and then here on the right side, it's got the st straight or squared off edge. Uh, so then if I turn to the side, you can see the blue one squared off, so I want this on that near side or the right side. So what, that's what we're going to start with. Uh, so to do that, we're going to use what's called a slider mate. So I'm going to hit slider mate. Uh, then I'm going to zoom in, and we want the middle edge so it faces outward. So right now, I got it facing outward, so middle edge facing outward on the bottom, and I'm going to click there. And then I want to line that up with where it's going to go on the base here. So I want the middle of the top of this edge. Sometimes it's easier to get it on the left-hand side, though. So I'm going to come over to the left-hand side, and you can see where that middle of the base should match up to here. Uh, so I got it facing outwards just like I did on my slider, so I place it in. Uh, if you want to flip it around, you can. You don't need to. Uh, it's oriented well enough, and it's going to be able to slide. So I hit my uh, green check to accept. If you want to see how it's going to slide, uh, we can hit this uh, play button, and it, and 
animates that ability to slide in and out there. And that's what we want, so we're going to hit that green check to accept. <coughs> so it can slide both uh, left and right, but it can't go up and down. So we have that piece located. Uh, next, I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow piece. So I get it so it points outward. I get the very bottom or the base of it. And then I want to come over it on the side. I get the middle on the top of that base. And then it locates it. Uh, in this case, it's uh, oriented a bit off. So I have to rotate it around and it's going to rotate upwards. Again, we can animate and make sure it's doing what we want. And it does. So we're going to hit our green check to accept. Once it does, it pops that pin back into place, uh, so we don't have to worry about that being an issue. Uh, next, I'm going to add in my slided arm, my uh, connecting arm. I'm not putting the screw in yet because that's going to hold that arm in place. Uh, so I want to have the arm out there before I do that. So I'm going to enter. Uh, I'm going to other documents. I'm going to my Trammel folder. Uh, and I didn't go to my Trammel folder. I want my arm shape and then my Trammel folder. And then we want that connecting arm, or the crank arm as it's called. Again, I'm going to update it so I have the correct name on my file. And then I can put my crank arm out here. So I click on my crank arm, and I can place it anywhere. We're going to use our constraints to locate it. So next, I'm going to locate it on the pin, and then I'll locate it in the screw. Uh, so I'll hit my green check to accept. Uh, the fourth spot down is what's going to go in the pin. Uh, it's going to be easier for me to count how it is now, so I'm just going to use go ahead and do that one first. So I'm going to do a rotational because it's able to rotate around as it spins. So I need a rota a revolve mate, and I want the one, two, three, fourth hole in. So I'm going to zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. And I want the you can do the top, you can do the bottom, depending on how we want to click in this one. Uh, so the way I want to click on it, I'm going to do the bottom. So I'm going to come down here and get a bottom angle view so we can see the bottom of that one. I want the fourth hole over. So if I zoom in, it doesn't matter what side that you're coming from. It's going to be easier from this side, though. So I'm going to come over here and get the bottom of the fourth one over. Uh, then I'm going to flip up to my top view, get this top slider. And I want the base, the top of that base, so not the very bottom, but the top of the base. And I want it right in the middle so it's facing upwards. Uh, so you can see right there, it's probably going to pop on upside down. That's fine uh, because we can rotate it. Uh, but this one did pop in correctly. Uh, to revolve mate, so to see how it rotates, I can hit play and you can see it's rotating how we want it to. So I hit my green check to accept. And we have that located. Uh, next, I'm going to hit the red X. I'm going to move my... Uh, block in a little bit and I'm going to use a slider mate for my screw. Before the slider mate, <coughs> all I'm going to do is I'm going to select a slider just like we did previously. Uh, I want the head of this, the base of the head of the screw. Uh, so I want that middle circle there and I want to slide it into uh, the base of my uh, object here. So I'm going to put it right into that base. I want to flip it around. I uh, hit my green check to accept. I'm actually going to pull it up already. Or pull it up. Uh, so it's sticking up because I know what I'm going to do next, which is going to be a revolve between the arm and the screw. So you can pull it up and locate it however you want. Uh, obviously, I'm going to pull it down later on, uh, but I need a revolve mate. So revolve mate. This time I want my crank arm, the center of this far armhole, uh, with the getting the base of my screw head, the center of the base of my screw head. I'll click to place it, and that puts it where we want it. So now everything's in the uh, proper orientation, proper layout. Uh, if I play this uh, revolve mate, I can animate it, and we can see how it's supposed to rotate, hopefully. Uh, oh, it's trying to do a new one. So I'm going to play the last one I just did. I'm going to animate that revolve. So I'm going to make it a loop so I can see it over and over again. And it should help sew this rotation of our uh, trammel toy. So you can see it's able to spin. And as it spins, uh, both the sliders are able to slide in and out uh, without leaving the object, without falling out. So it's those uh, trammel toy fully functioning now. So hopefully this helps you to create uh, this trammel toy, get it fully functioning, and sew and animate that uh, function of your trammel toy. Uh, thank you and good luck.